Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So if you're watching this the day that I post it, September 15th, it's a Thursday, then today for 24 hours, all of the annual catalog stamp sets that we have are 15% off, except for the hostess sets. But anything else, if it's in the annual catalog and it's not on back order, it's 15% off. So it's a flash sale. So you might think that since I am um, recording on a day that all the annual catalog stamp sets are on sale, that perhaps I was using one of those, but I'm not. Um, today I'm gonna use Warm Welcome. I am getting ready for my retreat, so it might seem like I'm not working for you all because you haven't seen many videos this week, but I'm really working because the retreat theme is um, the art of stamping. My hands are a mess, but they've been a mess ever since I started this retreat because the cards are a little bit more um, not time intensive. Well, they are. They take a little bit longer than our normal cards. Um, so it's making a mess and it's sucking up all my time and I have my live camp this week. So they're gonna do this at my live event. And then I'm also trying to get some stuff ready for clubs so my husband can be cutting the paper. So I am frantically working. It's just that I haven't had much time to do videos. So because we're gonna do this at camp and because I wanted you to see it, I decided to go ahead because this was the card that I have ready. So kind of what happened was I didn't have a, a video to post because I like to give you a, a tutorial when I send out an email and I knew that I would be emailing on the sale day. So yesterday I met with my friends and one of them also has her um, live event, her stamp camp this Friday, or hers go over multiple days. And she was gonna use this new set. It's called the Warm Welcome. So she had messed with it and she kind of, it's not difficult to use, but she was a little stumped. You know, some days we just don't have creative days. And so she brought it for the three of us to look at. And unfortunately, we kind of, it's an adorable set. Like the words are so cute. This little cat is worth it. Um, and my door is always open. These little hands right here, there's a coffee and a tea, which is kind of fun. I did a card yesterday with the little shoes. So we played with it, but we looked at the mechanics of it because it does have a door and then there's a door die that cuts this out and then another door. There's really cute numbers, but we tried to get it like the door handle. You know, when you just get the dies and you don't know what they do, we spent a long time messing with the dies. So we messed with the dies and then we kind of thought what we wanted to do and we started to stamp. But if she'd used the stamp, which she'd made several cards, those were in her box. So we were limited with the dies that we had and the stamps that we had. So this is a version of the card that I made yesterday. The one I made yesterday is pink. Um, and it's a little bit different and I don't have it with me because I let her take it. So she is going to, um, she used it. She's going to do a similar card to this at her stamp camp as well. And, but I did take a picture. So if you go to my website, you can see the original card because I switched some stuff up. She didn't have the cat yesterday and I wanted the cat. And then we had looked online because we couldn't figure out what the, all the dies did and we couldn't find anything. And then today I have seen a few people now have put um, samples up with this and um, a lot of people use the same paper. So I made the first card with the cottage, I think it's called Gingham Cottage, uh, I don't know. It's the Gingham paper in the holiday catalog. Um, so I made my first one with this because you know when you're stamping at a friend's house and you're using their stuff, you kind of use what's there. And she had some of the pink cut. I have switched it to, this is the pumpkin pie and papaya because um, I wanted to have a little bit more fall feel for our camp. And then I have, my other one was also on crumb cake. I have a piece of shimmer white and then I have papaya. On the other one, it was petal pink. So let's get going with this card because I got to get back to my other work. And it's, it goes together super cute. I will do more things with this stamp set because it is adorable. And then I will show you the other ones. And then I also did one that also had the pink gingham and the baby the baby shoes because it makes the baby card. But for this one, I'm going to use the little hand bouquets. So it's designed so when the door is opening or it looks like somebody's coming in the door, it looks like you're being handed something. So I'm going to do the flowers and then the little cat. Because if you watch me, you know my cats are my coworkers. Stamp those and then I'm going to color them super quick in with blends. So we have these colors and I'll just pull them out and then stick all this stuff in the bucket and then they can make it a camp. So this is soft succulent. There's not a whole lot of blending on this. It's mostly coloring. There are a couple points where I'll blend. Just kind of 
get those in and then there are the stems in here so I'm just gonna barely hit them with that soft succulent and then I want my flowers to be pumpkin so I have dark pumpkin and again I'm not coloring them all in I'm gonna kind of just dabble the color in there so there's a little bit of white showing and then I have um, dark daffodil no yep dark daffodil The other one was all pink and it just kind of had a little bit of a spring feel because I did the blushing bride super cute and you could make a set of these. And then for her hand, I have 900. Yesterday, I did not have 900 yesterday. Her hand is um, still petal pink. Um, and 900 is kind of, summer is coming to an end so your tan is fading. That's what 900 is. And then for her shirt, I'm going to do papaya. So we'll do dark and light. Just every other. And you'll wanna do these before you cut them out because there are dyes that cut both of these images out. But when they're smaller, it's so much harder to hold on to them. Super cute. She looks like a little 70s girl in that. And then I have crumb cake, which is why my card is crumb cake. And it just kinda of has you know, wrapped in paper feel. I feel like I need to look at this right side up. So I'm just gonna do one little swipe of the dark. And then I've got this and I will do, just blend it. You wanna be careful you don't go to the edges cause this is not a big design. And I'm laying down a lot of ink. So if you go too close to the edge, then it's gonna smear out. So now she has her little paper thing. Now to do my cat. So I have a white cat with um, brown and black splotches. And then our other cat looks tiger. So both of those were gonna take too long to do. This is a dark gray granite. So I'm just gonna kind of splotch her up like this. And you know, cats have white on them. So if everything doesn't get all colored in, it'll be fine. And then this is the dark gray or dark slate I think. Get the little tip of her tail. So I recorded this once. This is this, the other reason that I'm going kind of quick because I recorded it once and on rare occasions my phone just doesn't it doesn't record and I'm done and I hit unrecord and it makes the noise and then there's nothing there. Which thankfully it was this fast video because I previously to this I recorded one of my retreat videos and it's 45, 50 minutes long because the cards take longer. So I'm going to do, I'll show you this because I don't have room on my table for my die cut. These two have dies framelits that will cut them out. And then this is designed to be like a, it can be a window, it can be a doormat. So it has some cute stitching. We're gonna lose the stitching because the way I'm using it. So I'm gonna put it on here and once I've done this then I'm gonna run it through the bricks. But you don't need to see me do any of that. Y'all know how and if you don't, I'll, um, you can ask and I'll send you to one of my um, beginning die cutting videos. All right, so we just now have to put this together. I have the words and I chose the ones that say, knowing you feels like coming home because I think that's a super cute saying. On my original card, I have stamped them up here because this panel was a little bit bigger and that was in petal pink. And this one I'm gonna stamp them right here on the gingham. The gingham also comes in petal pink. This gingham, and I may say something twice because since I just recorded this, I don't know if I've already told the lie, this one that's actually happening this or not. Um, but the gingham has several colors. One is um, like black and or and pumpkin pie. This is just a piece of scrap of the shimmer white. So I'm just gonna cut this because I don't want her hands to look like they're coming in that. I want it to be separate. So just take this. Add some, my things are not all the way in the center. That's okay, we're gonna live with it, right? It's handmade. I'll adjust it on the other side. So just add this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here because you can see that has some sticky over the top of it. Put this on here. And then these are designed so like people are giving you stuff inside the door. There's the coffee and tea, there's the flowers, there's some presents. So I want it to look like her hand is back here and this is higher up. So I'm going to put three dimensionals. Put one, 
and take this. You have to remember to take the tops off or they don't stick because they don't stick to their non-sticky. And then there's two. I did two on the other one. I think three will make it a little bit more what I'm going for. And it's still smushy. It'll still smush down. So yeah, it'll go in an envelope. You need, no, don't need to worry about it. And there's not bulky ribbon on this card. So stick her arm so it's back there. And then once you have it where you like it, then push those down. Now those have a little bit more height than the ones did previously. Then I'm going to take my first card did not have linen thread on it. But it's a... I hardly ever do cards without some kind of ribbon on them. And this, it has kind of that fall feel. And it is not so much that it's gonna detract from our pretty design. So just put this, I'm just gonna tie a knot. I'm not gonna even tie a bow. Oops, maybe I'll tie a knot if I can hold on to it. And when you do this, make sure you don't pull so tight that it um, pulls those up. And this is the crumb cake. It's a super cute card and so easy. It's a really cute set. And I will show you how to use the door. It's just not today. And probably not in the next couple of days. Because i got to get through once my retreat's in the mail and... Um, my live event has happened, then I can go back. So I'm just gonna add my little um, cat down here. Now, if you're not a cat person, then you don't have to add it because some of the people coming to camp are not cat people. But sometimes you wanna make a card for somebody that's a cat person, right? Even if you're not. And then just one tiny little embellishment. I'm gonna take the brass, the brush brass butterflies. You don't wanna say that too many times fast. And on this one, I'm going to stick it over here because my window goes a little bit that direction. So isn't that sweet? Here's the one that I previously recorded, except it didn't. <laughs> so exactly the same card. This one's a little bit more in the center. Butterflies are opposite because sometimes, you know, even when we make the same card, things go off a little bit. So just adjust them. There you go. So it's, again, the warm welcome. If you buy this, it's for World Card Making Day, which is the first Saturday in, I don't think I told you guys this, <laughs> in October, and Stampin' Up's having a live online event. It's free to register, and during the day, you can follow along and make projects with them. I will have more information on both my website and in my email about World Card Making Day. But if you order this, the Cottage Garden, or the Cottage, or cottage Wreath, or the Cottage Rose, I think, there's two cottage sets in this. If you order them before World Card Making Day, then you get a free package of pearls. You get one package of pearls per. So if you order all three, you just still get one package of pearls um, of the iridescent pearls. So there's that. I gotta get this done. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. Everybody have a great one and I'll catch you back here later. Bye.